Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Bowman Baseball 12 box hobby edition. Pick your team number three. Now this was part of that five case filler that we did yesterday. Um, this was the fifth case. We just got too late last night. We just didn't get around to it. So that's our first break of the day today. So my colleague Chris right over my shoulder, you can see him on the top camera, is going to start opening up the, uh, the hobby packs for us to get us, give us a head start on it. No vet paper ships, remember? Rookie card paper or prospect paper. None of those ship. No vet paper, no rookie paper, no prospect paper ship. But a change from previous years, Bowman first paper do ship. And then of course all numbered cards and all hits and all chrome, everything else inserts of course obviously ship. Now, so this is pick your team three. Here is the list. Thanks everybody for getting in on it. Appreciate it. So on May the 5th, 2022 Bowman Baseball, pick your team three. If you got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in that filler we did yesterday. Andrew, last spot mojo star next to his name, got the Royals. So there's everybody right here. So thanks everybody. No matter how you got in, I appreciate it. So let me just snag one here. Good luck everybody. Now we've got another filler, very similar to the one we did yesterday. So we pulled the remaining teams out of a couple cases, one jumbo case and one hobby case. We pulled those out and then turned it into a random team break. So, so you're, gonna, you're gonna get a team randomly. There's also a filler for that filler. So keep that in mind. So there's a couple layers to it, but keep chipping away at it and that'll unlock, uh, that'll ultimately unlock a uh, another two cases of Bowman. And of course, since those are kind of longer breaks, the sooner we can knock those out, the better, especially while we have some help here at the shop to help pack stats. I'm not giving you all a ton of them, but I'm here until 9.30, so if you want to get stuff done Oh, you're before, here a little then, later. Yes, I'll be Actually, here so, a nice chunk of the day. So, I mean, we should be able to get that filler done within the next few hours if we do, and we'll definitely have some help. And if we have some help, that'll save us a little time, and that might give us time to do another case, maybe towards the end of the night, maybe for the last hour of the show. So that is all up to you, though, ladies and gentlemen. The scheduling is up to you. We just set them up but you're the ones that have to knock them down. And when you knock them down, that's all up to you and the rest of your fellow collectors here at Jaspies. So work together, keep buying those spots and help motivate each other to make that happen on jaspiescasebreaks.com. So keep, keep buying those spots early and often, early and often like Chicago voters in the 60s where they voted early and often. Mob stuff, I think. Kennedy. So good luck, everybody. Anything exciting going on in the baseball today, Chris? Uh, what's I going know on? the Brewers put a, a whooping on the Reds today. And it's uh, Willie Adamas at two. Dingers. Okay, okay. Christian Yelich at his fourth. Oh, okay, okay. Justin Hira maybe having a bit of a bounce back. All right, there you go. We like to see it. That's what we like to see. Keston Hira doing some work. All right, I think there is, there is a, a few games locked in. Did you see Shohei Otani start today? Yes. Seven Ooh. shutout innings, 11 Ks, two for four. I think no walks, too. That's the kind of stuff that will always be exciting yeah. most. Yeah, yeah. So. who likes good pitching. High strikeout numbers, uh -huh. no walks. And a, and a, and a big, uh, big RBI off the green monster, too. Uh, Angels beat the Red Sox. Shut them out. 8 nothing. Yeah. All right, so in, for visual learners, so stuff like this, not going to ship. Not going to ship. I know it says rookie card in, but the, it's paper, so it's not going to ship. That will ship, obviously. That won't ship. No, no. Yes, because this is chrome. Nose here. So that's what we're going to bring. And there's a little pattern to them, too. But that does ship. Bowman first paper. We haven't done that in a number of years, so no, I, th I think it's a welcome welcome change for people who like the Bowen First Papers. Luis Gonzalez to 250 purple paper to, for Zachary and the Orioles. So I speed up a little bit here.
Had a couple of train whistles out of here yesterday. A red chrome, five out of five, non-auto, and, and a printing plate. Nice. Nice orange to start us off. One autograph per box in Hobby. This is Hobby Picker Team 3. 11 out of 25, Alan Serta. Do I have to put these up here? Uh, sure, as long as we can see them on camera, yeah. Yes. Alan Serta for the Reds. Start looking to the future if you're a Cincinnati Reds fan. Yeah, brutal, I'm also forward brutal, to brutal season for them. And I think these Atomics land about one per box in general. Yeah, Reds fell to the Brewers in Milwaukee, 10 to five. Yeah, yeah. Up, which we, we do not like to see. No, we do not like to see that. We like him. Southern Cal LA guy, LA guy. He's a kid. He's a kid. He's young. He's just got to control that uh that hundred mile per hour arm. Yes. This Yolki Cespedes, Yoannis' half brother, speckled two ninety nine, White Sox, Dusty. Yeah, Hunter Green falls to one and four, sporting an eight seven one ERA. Ouch. Aye, aye, aye. And the Reds are at three and twenty two on the season. I mean, we're, we're looking towards an all-time bad season. I mean, we're talking breaking that Tigers lost record from, what, 05, 06? Wait, how many did they lose? Like 115? Yes, yeah, 115, 116, like in that Ooh. range. They are That's tough. Bad. The story, bad. Lorenzo, Lava to 399 for the Astros, Stephen Carney. Not how you want to see someone like Joey Votto end his career. No, that's like rough. That. Do, you, do you think they trade Joey Votto? Um, like just he's, to, he's been looking like a 38-year-old first baseman, unfortunately. Uh, that's so true. So he's not helping. But if he heats up, yeah, turn to the Jays. Let him, let him get one. Right, yeah, let him get a crack at a ring, right? For the con for the home country. Yeah. Oh, Joey Votto had that had that new like bat knob and everything too. Yeah, was highly touted in the offseason. I thought that was going to be. He bought up the entire company worth of bats because they're the only ones who were making. I think it was a maple bat. Really? Something like that. Like yeah. those big. Has everyone seen Joey Votto's bat knob, ladies and gentlemen? He it looks like a a hockey puck at the end of the bat. So like if you look at Bobby Wood Jr.'s bat, that's a normal bat knob, right? And everyone's seen the axe handle bat knobs. Everyone's using yeah. different bat knobs, but his. Let me show you, actually. Sorry, I know this. Because <laughs> I have a good example here. These are our, our, our label printer labels. It looks like this, literally. Interesting. So it's like the end of the bat. So he's swinging it, and it looks like there's this bat, there's this big hockey puck at the it, end. It's just the, the knob itself. It's the knob itself. It's made. It's carved like that. Yeah, it's made like that. I'm not someone to be a doubter in the science of fitting, especially if it comes to Joey Votto. That dude's a nerd. Hello? Yeah, he really is. And so, so it should help him uh, ideally barrel the ball up more. I mean, it's like that having that, imagine there's like a little extra weight at the bottom keeps your hands. Yeah. Like for him anyway, that kind of keeps his hands where he wants them to be naturally. Oh, another red. 119 out of 150, Matt McLean. Mark Bissett got the red straight up. Gets two color autos out of 25 and out of 50, 150. Here's a mid first rounder right here too. So that's always good to see. Grew up an Angels fan, enjoys playing spike ball and spending time at the beach. Nice. Mom Wendy was an all American in softball and volleyball. All right, so there's auto, and of course we'll do an autograph recap at the end of the video. Red, there we go. red lava, two out of five. For the Cubbies, red for red. There you go, Red. And out of fives and under, of course, get the train whistle. How do you like the design of Bowman this year? It's clean. I kind of like that. I thought, because one year they did a design where they just looked like it just cut it in half, mm -hmm. and I didn't like that. But now this kind of wraps around a little bit, but intentionally leaves a sort of artistic open space yeah. right here, which I do like. And especially in the chrome, yeah. they've got that little pattern in the it's background there, too. It's good for border. It's good for color. It's good for the chrome. Like, I think it's going to pop much, much more. Yeah, I like it. So red out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Good one to get too. If I'm 
Top, yeah, he, I think he's one of the top guys, right? Yeah. yeah. Number 16 Cubs prospect, according to MLB.com. He was, yeah. a, uh, he was, he was inquired a, in the Anthony Rizzo deal. Yeah, the Rizzo trade. And he was ranked number 15 prospect in the 2018 international signing class by Baseball America. So he's got a lot of upside. I think Cubs quietly has have had built up a nice little farm system, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Just give it a couple years. I mean, it's going to be them and the Pirates. Right. For the NL Central title. So now that we have... Got that out of the way. Uh, maybe a super fractor in this case. That, pretty neat. that would be that would make it a pretty wild case. You think Alejandro PA is related to Felix PA? I would imagine so. Maybe a nephew. Mm -hmm. Doesn't Man. say on the back of the card. I feel like it would. But he is from the same Dominican Republic baseball hotbed that produced Edwin Encarnacion. Blue paper, Paul Goldschmidt to 150. Going to the STL, that'll be for Greg. Another box in the books. Wait, do, we, do we have baseball on television? Uh, of course, some basketballs in the certain, what, 20 minutes or so? Oh, TNT? Thursday, so. TNT? We got Penguins oh, at Rangers on TNT. So no. ESPN, maybe? ESPN? They're not gonna throw it on ABC, are they? Skip my Jeopardy. Not like that. No. What? A, is it on the? Is it on the big networks? No, I don't know where anything is. I guess not. How about uh? How about taking two off the Giants? A little two-game series. I like that. We like that a lot. Right, Mookie going deep. Blue Jays at Guardians. Power. It is. Oh, maybe not. Oh, blacked out. I think out. you're on the regional one. I think I'm on the regional channel. One. Click down one. Should be. There we go. What do we got Is this box ready to go? Yes. So we got Phillies at... Oh, Phillies putting a whooping on the Mets right now. 4 nothing in the bottom of the first. Tom Walker having a struggle here. But that's been a, that was a chippy series back in New York, right? It was. I wonder if there's been any, been any drama today. Oh, there's Alejandro P.A., Bowman first autograph for Tampa Bay. That will be for Tamoya and the Tampa Bay Rays. Picked him up straight up, which we always like to see. Number 20, prospect in the Rays system by Fangraphs. Are you a Fangraphs subscri subscriber, Chris? Subscriber as in paying As in you're paying? I am not. I should be. I think they do actually. Yeah, I, I, I pay for that, and I pay for uh, the baseball reference stat head. Get those advanced stats. I, I am too busy wasting my money on monthly services like Twitch and Discord. Mm, mm. I'm a big Discord Nitro guy now. And obviously, Discord and Twitch and Patreon are just to support. But I should be supporting Patreon. They do like yeah, support. What do we What do we like about Discord? Um, I like the funny emotes. Like if you gotcha. pay for Nitro, you have to use... If any server you're in, you have to use any of the emotes that are in there. Gotcha. Uh, but gotcha. the main thing is bigger file sizes. I mean, it's, mm. it is minuscule. Like, the things that we put on Slack are usually pretty handleable, like pretty manageable. Right. Like, 
any any free non subscribers of Discord Nitro, I can not have to send those files. I see. Size. There's Adley Rushman to 250. Purple uh, Lava going to Zachary and the Orioles. People are saying uh, this year for Adley. Yeah, he's supposed to come back pretty soon, right? Yeah, and the O's front office have been saying, like, once he's healthy, like, he's getting called up, so. Good. Maybe he makes update, tops update. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Yeah, when 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 that update comes out, or series two or whatever, yeah, it's going to feature the next crop two, yeah. of rookies. It's going to be there's going to be a lot of action in that. We thought series one was going to yeah. be big with Wander, and we got three of the top five guys. All right, out of three ninety nine, Sedan, Rafaela, Boston, lime green paper for Zachary, and the Red Sox. What's wrong? What's going on with the Red Sox this year? They only they're they're. I don't they're, think they've only won ten games. Good ah, interesting. Pitching wise, no one, no one. Uh, it's for the Brewers, Mark. Anyone not named Nathan Eovaldi has been very good. I think mm -hmm. Nate's been carrying that that staff for a while, which I'm hoping is the case, and they stay in the middle of the road. And if the Dodgers need another starter, because whoa. Just saying. Bring him back. Dodgers legend Anthony Dodgers We got him in the Hanley deal. Yeah? I think so. Yeah, he was a raw prospect back then. I love and, and then really, yeah, I do too. There's Videl Bruhan. Seventy-two out of one hundred and fifty. Atomic parallel. Bowman top one hundred. Number twenty-nine on that list. That'll be for the Rays. That's going to go to Tomoya. Ben, what's up? You're in Hermosa. You love our shop. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so that's so each half stack right here will represent a box. So let's do another box right here. Box four, I believe. I think so. All right, good luck. Next one. Now, after this. As from when we started the break, there's only one filler pack sold out after this, and then that was it. I only see three orders coming in here, so while we're breaking this, get your orders in, ladies and gentlemen. You know, people were trying to do that gold label break as well. Yeah, maybe a little gold label. Could do some of that gold label. I can help pack stack for the night while you while you kids have fun with your gold label. Sure. Yeah, I mean, take advantage of the of the assistance, especially with these longer breaks. That gives us time to do more breaks, especially the Bowman. Which is great. I love it, but I understand that it does take a little bit of time. So, okay, we got a redemption coming up. Any guesses on the redemption? For bragging rights, you can see the blue of the redemption right here. We're gonna have Joey Votto cover up that redemption. I'm hoping it's uh, our big man. I hope it's the number one. I hope it's Wander. That'd be nice. Be a nice one. Well, there's a little, little sleepy yesterday, but today is a brand new day. Brand new day. Yes, it is. Brand new day. Best card we've pulled so far. We've got an orange auto out of here. This is our first break of the day, and we're only just a quarter of the way into it or so. Third of the way into it. Remember, these cards are kind of cool. They're slightly thicker than the other cards. Yeah. Yes, they are cool. Especially when they're numbered. I don't think I've seen one numbered yet. I, I, I remember them being numbered in last year's Bowman draft. Those are very cool. I would assume it's the same thing for these. I would assume so as well. Yeah. 
Because these vibrations be numbered? That, those yeah, are kind of cool. Thing, yeah. Ooh, nice Mizell Urbina. Nice. Orange Shimmer, 14 out of 25 for the Twinkies. DMAC with Minnesota. They've been playing good baseball this season. Uh, by the way, Rockies beat the Nationals 9-7. Brewers beat the Reds 10-5. And Twins are in pro Twins and Orioles just got started. Bottom of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. Top 12 Twins prospect right here. Byron Buxton looking like an early MVP front runner. Yeah. Didn't he get banged up recently, or is he okay? He got banged up halfway through April and came okay. back incredibly strong. Good, like good, good to hear, good to hear, good to hear. Yeah, Twins are 15-10 and 10 on the season. I can't think of a, a guy that took longer to get to the level people thought he was going to get than, than Buxton. Because I remember him yeah. in like 2014, 2015, number one prospect. Like, right? Good luck. Him and uh, Kirilov, too, hasn't taken a while okay, as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Injuries as well. But All right, congratulations to someone. You are due to receive a Chrome Prospect autograph, just a base Chrome Prospect autograph, no parallel of. We might see the city or his name first. We're going to see his name first, R. R and the city C, Chicago, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Colorado. It's CH, Chicago Cubs or White Sox. Ron, uh, Ronier, Quintero, Cubs. I, I've seen his autograph live. I guess some of them he didn't get to. So, uh, Red with the Cubs. Also, Tops putting the, the name of the team on the Redemptions Game Changer. We like that. Game Changer. That's got Fanatics money coming yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, and we got Jose Ramos. Nice. 65 out of 299. Speckle autograph for the Dodgers. Travis got my Dodgers. And he got that in a filler, too. Number 16 prospect in the Dodgers chain. If you think about how good the Dodgers farm system is, number 16 is pretty good. I would probably be top 10 in many other organizations. There's Adiel Amador to 499 paper. How did you like old, uh, old, old, old red ass Madison Bumgarner yesterday? <laughs> you know, I'm sure you feel the same way. I, I don't want to have to support that guy. He was right. What I think he, he, what he, he that umpire doing? I don't know. He was, baiting. he was basically baiting him into, you know, and and you know how Madison Bumgarner is. Exactly. You know, and he's just sitting there staring into his eyes, mad dogging him. And just massaging his hand. And then, of course, Mads Bummer is like, yeah, take your effing time. <laughs> Go back to the minor leagues. You're going to take your time. There's or something like that. And I'm like, you know, he may Diego Velasquez to, four, to 399. That's the Giants. William with my rivals. It's a nice little lava parallel. Mm -hmm. Colson there, too. Colson. John, what's going on? Looks like Gold Lake was going the opposite direction. I know. Someone got someone got scared. Someone's money was scared, but their loss could be your game. I think it was Twins Giants were the refunded teams. So make that person regret it. And breaks like that, a product like that, Twins always seem to hit. Tops Chrome Black, Gold That person's going to regret it when that when that one of one Twins hit comes out or when the one of one Giants hit pops. Don't tell me that, Joe. I mean, hey, heck, I mean. Joey Bart. Joe Mauer, Joey Bart, all these Giants. AK-47 autos. Simeon Woods Richardson to 150. Atomic insert. That's for the Twins. That'll go to Darren. So get that gold label, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Nice AD by Jeff McNeil. And we got a yellow parallel here, 26 out of 75, Jeremy Vargas. Nice lemon yellow color here, going to Mark and Milwaukee. Surprising to 
to see the Marlins up there. Mm -hmm. 5 for 4, 323 OBP team. They, I don't know, man. We talk a lot about the Phillies and the Giants and the Dodgers as, like, potential wild card teams, which sounds crazy to say, but, like, the Marlins are doing that. I mean, their pitching is so good. Their starting pitching staff, I, their starting God. rotation, one through, like, four is, is really crazy. solid. Like, their number four pitcher could probably be, like, a number two pitcher in a lot of teams. Jesus Guzardo is finally yeah. looking like what everyone thought he was going to be. Pablo Lopez is incredible. Sandy Alcantara, they're still missing Sixto. And they've That's got crazy. guys to call. They, have, they get to call Max Meyer sometimes this year, I'm, I'm assuming. So one of those guys sure. goes down. I mean, jeez. Here's another Giants autograph, 171 out of 299, Speckle Auto. That is Arvison Ortega. And that is for William and the Giants. Won that team in that filler. Nice signature, too. Yeah, good auto. And uh, Marlins also have a little bit of hitting, too. Like Jesus yeah. Sanchez in the ball pretty well. Jazz, Chisholm Jazz Chisholm is Chisholm. destroying baseballs. Mm -hmm. So. I think Don Manning is a great manager for that kind of team, that, that young team. I do not. Like no, you don't like Don. I don't. I don't think he was right for the Dodgers. I just. I talked about this. With the, I. I think his bullpen management in particular is pretty suspect. Like the fact that Kenley wasn't closing for two or three that, years, that. and we were letting guys like yeah, that might that might Ridley that might have cost in. Kenley like a hundred saves. Yeah, and man, I I saw I was watching his old highlights and. I happened to see, I don't know if you remember Chris Hatcher giving up. Yeah, I do remember Chris Hatcher. Giving Chris up Hatcher runs. might be might be the worst Dodger I've ever seen. That <laughs> guy's he's the only guy I Ronnie Maurizio to four ninety nine refractor. Him and George Sherrill. Oh my god, George Sherrill. That's true. The Marlins did get swept by the Those that team get swept, I, the D backs have always gonna be I mean they took two out of three from the Dodgers too. So. It was weird. It's a weird, it's a weird team, but then they'll lose to like the Pirates or something like that. That's what I'm saying. Like the the D backs are the weirdest team because they either do a good job of making teams play down to their level. Jordan Walker to, to fifty. That's a nice one. Yeah, that is nice. Hey, just like that, numbered and Victor. We were just talking. About yeah, that's kind of cool. Go. He's a good one to get too. Cardinals. That'll be for Greg. They they play down. Other teams play down to their level, or they or they elevate their game, however you want to call it. But then, except they'll get crushed by the Pirates. A bad team, yeah. Or they'll get crushed by the Rockets. It's just how I stand. Yes, Joe. That was... We were just talking about that. What a... Yeah, we were just talking about that earlier situation. today. I mean, I, I would have been pissed as well if it was, yeah. if it was me. There's uh, Esteban Machado. 71 out of 150. Nice blue shimmer for Toronto. A little color match there for Michael Michael L. and the Blue yeah, Jays. Very weird. Staring at him. Lovingly, longingly. And some mad bones on it. He's very clearly baiting. It's it's totally baiting him. Yeah. It's a very bad look on umpires. Yeah, that it's is not the would, first time that's happened this year, and it will certainly not be the last. The guy wants attention. Like, what was it? Wants to be a star? I don't know what what that umpire's intent was. I think I heard something like uh, Madison like had shown up the home plate umpire. I think was arguing balls and strikes or something like that. It was that. literally the first inning. But it was the first inning, so it was just like, I don't know, relax. I know umpires will not stand for certain guys' stuff, like him notoriously, John Lackey, back right. in the day, like, they would not take that stuff, but like... Lenin Sosa, Bowman first autograph for the White Sox, Dusty. You gotta, you know, you, you gotta let some of these guys have a, a, a discussion, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, a little dialogue before, exactly. before you run them. I mean, yeah, maybe a little bit of frustration there too. Like uh, umpires can't can't inject themselves into the game like that. You just kicked out a starting pitcher in the first inning. You know? Of of what? Like of the last I mean 
one of the few first few games of a, a yeah. long road trip. Yeah. I mean, those bullpen guys got to work now extra hard going into yep, just ruined the going on the road. Player safety issues. The guy, guys who didn't think they were going to be warming up or warming up quickly, trying to get into the game. Don't like it. Don't like it. Harry, what's going on? Yeah, let's sell out that gold label tonight. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. If you want it, get it. John just picked up a couple teams there. Thank you, John. There's a uh, Michael Escado, 124 to 499 paper for the Pirates. Chad and the Pirates. We got some fuchsia. Jonathan Class, 107 out of 199. That goes to Seattle. That'll be for John. John Wendell, who won that team in the filler yesterday. Which unlocked five cases. This is the fifth case. We just didn't get to it last night, so we're doing it first break of the day. This is Hobby, 12 box Hobby, pick a team three. <laughs> Sounded good. Sarah Kid, Dead Ball. Yep. Very Warning cool. track, yep. Very cool. Cost of a homer. The the, the, the dead and balls. It's it's bad. It's a uh, bad look for the league. I don't know if you were watching uh Dodgers last night, but Clayton Kershaw put on the headset for an inning. Yes. And he was talking about those baseballs. There's Fidel Montero. Purple Chrome. For the uh, Yankees, that is E A, the Yankees, and he was saying that that you know every team's got those got tracking technology. Every team's seeing you know exit velo and launch angle. Last year, you know they have all the data of what a home run's going to be. Yeah. This year, they say it's it's just the data shows it. Everything's like five feet short. I mean, like I said, like, the crack of the bat is one thing, you know. Like yeah. Some, some, you know, sometimes the ball just gets cracked or lazy, and you know, finds a love or whatever. But like, like you said, the launch angle, like that stuff. And the just... and the speed, like mathematically, says that should be a home run, at least from last year's yeah. baseballs. They, in thirty parts, they should be right. A home run. They got sort of right. Thing. So now, now when they're applying that data this year, the same data from last year to this year, they're saying the baseballs are falling short now. So it's all different. And I guarantee you during all Xbox. these discussions for the CBA or whatever it may be that this was not wrong yeah. at all. Just sleep, I, mean, I think, that in, make sure all guys I think for notice. most baseball players, I think it's like umpires, right? They just want them to be consistent. They don't care yeah. if the strike zone's big or small or side to side, up and down, whatever it is, just be consistent. It's like once that's established early on, if that's what a strike's going to be, just keep it consistent. I'll be happy. There's Ed Howard to 75, yellow paper for the Cubbies. That's going to go to red. The MLB wants to shorten games. Yeah, I suppose so. You know, that's, I mean, I, I enjoy a pitching duel. I do. But when games are decided late by relievers on balls that should be getting out, it's it's bad on, on all fronts. I don't yeah. want to watch, you know, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't watch, want to watch six, seven, eight of the guys. You know, give up balls that should go out. It's also I want to watch guys hit. Right. Like, I, wanna, I, wanna I mean, watch I mean, I I don't understand why baseball wants to limit offense when every other sport is finding ways to increase offense. Yeah. Because that's what that's people want. That's what very people want to see. So it's just, I know MLB wants to shorten games. But I don't know if this is the right idea to shorten games. Games. Look at all the stuff that the 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 major league is enforcing. Like, how much time are you know checking pitchers for substances? Yeah. How long is that taking? You know, you two times an inning, nine innings a game. You know, yeah. Stuff like the review. You know, like how how like it's very yeah, the easy, easy, very obvious that some of these calls should be upheld or reversed, and it's like five minutes. It takes forever, minutes. And, they're, and, and they're talking to someone whose job is just to sit there and look at the tape. They should know. There's a, uh, out of 299, Fuchsia Paper Hoy Park from South Korea. That goes to Chad and the Pirates. I feel like the Pirates have a have a good pipeline to South Korea. I feel like they're always signing Korean yeah, players. Yeah, I was just going to say, they have a lot of... A lot of history there. And even now, like, not just, you know, guys like uh, Hoy Park, but I think it's... 
And there's Chu. I think Chu is another good one for mm -hmm. them. Shortstop, middle infielder type. There's a uh, young Kenzie Noel, 485 to 499 for the Guardians. That'll be for Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. That'll be for Mark and the Guardians. And we got Jonathan Class, 50 out of 399. That lo nice lava parallel for the Marlins, or Mariners, that is. John. Number 20 Mariners prospect. Little speedy guy. Up close, has gained notice for his Instagram videos depicting his demanding workouts. Wow. Hails from the same Dominican hometown as Starling Marte. Although, they don't give us his Instagram handle right here. They just give us the at Bowman cards. Not it, guys. I mean, if I if I can look at Joe Ryan's card here, yeah, at Bowman cards, guys. Come on, talking yeah. about these things. Yeah, and making sure these guys get, get, the social, you know, get, get, get their social media game up. Perry says, "I heard something on the radio today about the NFL wanting to keep the clock running during certain quarters. I missed it; it was zoned out. But the reasons are shortened games. I got I got first and third quarter, maybe." You get to that um, second quarter, that two-minute warning. That, uh, four, Arizona, four. blue paper to 125. Well, the, uh, so, I don't know. I mean, if they do that, uh, I, like less commercials then. Exactly. Like do less commercials. If you want shorter games, TV extends the time of these games already. I you know how many TV timeouts there are in the NFL. That was the one thing that I drastically noticed when I thought that charge game went to was the first NFL football game I've been to. That's like, right, the, like, the one we went to last so, summer, yeah. It's a stop, start, stop, start. Yeah. You know, um, my sister and I went to our first football game last winter, uh, Raiders Broncos. Raiders mm -hmm. won. And nice. um, <laughs> we got to throw that in there. <laughs> uh, and so, obviously, you know, we've watched football on TV our entire lives. And then she was just like, and she has been to a number of hockey games. She's like, wow, the vibe is so different. Mm -hmm. She lives in Vegas. She's like, the vibe is so different. The hockey is just almost constant action. Hockey And games? she didn't realize that like, like a live football game, how much sort of stop start there was and how much like the momentum or the crowd interaction kind of ebbs and flows, you know? It's, I, I, hockey games live are so, to me, the best sporting experience. I've been to a couple hockey games Nothing over here, it. pretty Fans, fun. Like you said, the, the pace of play, the action, like it's all, it's all what you would want from games. And all the seats are always good, too. Yeah. There's Luis Verdugo to 250, nice. purple, purple chrome. That's a nice one. There you go, number 18, Cubs prospect for uh, Red and the Cubs. Paul, what's going on? Are there any big hitters that are up for new contracts at the end of the year? I know Trey Turner is going to probably be the big yeah, one. Yeah, Trey Turner is a free agent. They did not get an extension done before the start of the season. Uh, Aaron Judge will be a big one as Drew well. Drew Waters to one. That's right. Aaron Judge, did. they did not get it. But he turned down an extension offer from he the Yankees. years and money. So, good for him. Hey, I'll, good for Some him. Some team will give him. Uh, I think Jamie Martinez is going to be a, a pretty decent one, depending on how those Red Sox do. Dodgers catcher in history. Oh no, yeah. Um, Paul, I got a MLBTradeRumors.com has a great uh, free agent list. 20, uh, players are eligible for free agency after the 2022 season. And their 2023 ages are in parentheses. So, Austin Barnes, Gary Sanchez, Jose Abreu, although he'll probably re sign with the White Sox for like a one or two year Ooh. deal. Josh Bell's a good one. Max Josh Muncy Bell. Is a That's right. Good one. Muncy's a free agent. Miguel Sano, only 30 years old, too. Someone will pay handsomely for the services of Trey Mancini. Oh, Mancini's already a free agent? Especially since the H down the NL. Right. Kiki Hernandez a free agent. Bring him back? That'd be pretty nice. I would not say that.
Yeah, Trey Turner. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly, Paul. Ooh, they're, they're definitely they're players like Trey Turner and especially Aaron Judge. I think the I think people are thinking that Trey Turner is going to re-sign with the Dodgers. I think that seems yes. to be, you know, unless they really lowball him, which I don't think they will. I think they'll give him a fair offer. There's Edward Cuero for the Angels, but Judge definitely is is banking on himself. That's for sure. I'm a, I'm a big uh, advocate of contract year guys always having super inflated numbers to get Mark the Angels across all, all, all sports. Carl Sordon, a free agent as well. Oh, I thought he was. Uh, I thought he was on a multi-year deal with the Giants. Yeah, he bet on himself this past year though, and it super paid off. And now he's arguably the best left-handed pitcher in the NFL. Justin Turner also a free. Oh no, he's gonna get the I club think, option. I think they'll, they'll pick up the club option. Jock Peters is only on a one-year deal. He'll be a free agent. I think Brendan Nimmo is a super underrated one. Mitch yeah, Hanneker Aaron Judge. Too. The Aaron Judge is the big one. Mitch Hanniger Mitch is a bopper. Dylan Bundy he may have a good last year of his contract. Oh, yeah. that's right, Degrom. Degrom, that's right. He's gonna opt out for sure. Yeah, I think Carlos Rodon was uh, is on a multi-year deal. He's not on this free agent list. We'll be seeing him numerous times a year, every year, and I don't like. I that. don't. I don't like it. Just off of the starters list here, from what A to K, it's looking like a lot of pitchers who are actually pretty. J.D. Solid. Martinez, Kobe Arahara, Chris Bassett, Matt Boyd, Dylan Bundy, Cookie Carrasco is having a great year. Kershaw's only on a one-year deal. Yeah, I think same. Thing. Oh, I think they'll keep doing one years until he says says no. Yeah. Oh, now it's interesting. Then, Marcel Urbina. If that is the oh, case. there's an opt out. Diego saying he's been incredible. I feel like he'd be on this list. Oh, there he is, right there. Can opt out Ooh. of remaining one year, twenty two oh, and a half million dollars. The other one on that too, same thing. On the other the second half, the outfit. Noah Syndergaard has been really good to start the year oh. too. He's on a one year deal. Luis Severino. It's a big pitching here. Uh, maybe Syndergaard wants to come up the freeway. That'd be pretty neat. I wouldn't mind that. Tell me we can get Bueller, Syndergaard, Julio. Maybe one more year of fresh. Ooh. And then healthy Dustin in May in 2023. I wouldn't mind that either. I feel like he'll still kind of be working. I mean, he'll make starts. But then just a, a good off season where he's not rehabbing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Would be perfect for him. Exactly. Exactly, Paul. There's the inverse of that too, where you know, having a bad year absolutely tanks your value. You get after you get the one year deal, the prove myself deal. The prove it deal. They accept the qualifying offer that the team goes for and I let me see what I can do the next year. I mean, he's. I mean, he was really healthy last year, obviously, and he's. I mean, I mean, I don't want to root for any, I root against anyone, but as a giant, I have a, I have a, I'm conflicted. I want all the guys to be healthy, though, and I want him to be healthy too. I want him to be really bad against the Dodgers, but just to right. show everybody else. Yeah, I'm seeing the same thing, Diego. If Rodon pitches 110 innings in 2022, he may opt out of the contract. So, I mean, if he thinks he can get more than $20 million a year, plus years, someone would give him that, right? There's Dario Lopez, purple paper to 250, 26 out of 250. Chad and the Pirates. Got some green paper. Randy Arzarena, 87 at 99 for the Rays. Getting that rainbow going. Got a blue as well. That's right. 
30 years old. I feel like, like him and King Ty. Oh, is it Jose Aguilar? Matt Frazier for the Pirates. There you go, Chad. I've just been around for so long, and to see he's only 30 years old and still got so much left in the tank. From Fresno, California, Matt Frazier. Hey, shouts out. There's a funny TikTok going around of some Florida-looking woman. Doing Florida very looking Florida, Florida stuff. Robert Hassel to 150, Blue Lava. She came out like later, like, I'm, I'm not a Florida girl. I'm from California. Oh, no. Here I go now. Like, Tim I'm, the... I'm a Fresno girl. I'm like, yeah, oh, that makes sense. The Florida of California? Fresno. My last box here. Oh, we made it. Look at that. We made it. We're making good time, too. Another box right here, and Chris is working on the final box. Good luck, everybody. Last two autos here. Chris, let's play a game. Okay. For real or not for real? Yankees, 18 and 7, first place. For real, not for real? For real. For real. Twins, 15 and 10. For real, not for real. Not for real. Whoa. Angels, 17 and 10. First place. For real, not for real. Ooh, pause. I think the AL West is going to be very interesting. I don't think any of those teams are essentially world beaters, but right now, pitching has been really good. For Malcolm them. Nunez, blue paper, 125. And pitching will win divisions, Great. and those guys will heat up offensively besides Mike Trout and Taylor Ward, of all people. He's smoking the ball. So I will say that the Angels are for real. Jared Walsh, two home runs in the last two days. He's been, and Brandon Marsh. I know everyone's all about Wander in Series 1, but, you know, he's been really good. And with Joe, Joe, Joe Adele going down, Brandon Marsh elevated. Playing some great center field for them. Milwaukee, 18 and 8, top of the NL Central, for real, not for real. There's Makai Backstrom. The Mets? Uh, the Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, the Brewers. 18 and 8. No. The NL Central is the worst division in baseball, I think. Oh, did I skip the Mets? Yes. Mets, for real, not for real, 18 and 9. Uh, I'll go for real. I think, I think the Mets. And then your Milwaukee thoughts again, 18 and 8, top of the NL, AL, NL Central, that 18 is. 18 and 8, for, if you look at that roster. I mean, I know the Central. They, they got a run bad. diff of plus 41, too. <laughs> They're just going to be feasting well, look, I mean, on those. Look at the Pirates. The Pirates are in third with a minus 37 run differential. They're, and the, they're feasting. The Reds, minus 87. 87 run differential. That doesn't even seem right. That seems like an That's right, Trendsetter. Back on the Bowman. There's Brand. We are just talking about Brandon Marsh. He's, oof, he is good. And of course, I'm biased. Dodgers 16 7. <laughs> yes, the Dodgers. Top of the NLS. The yeah, they're, 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 for they're for real. real. They're for real. There's Garrett Mitchell to 199. Fuchsia. Yeah, another LA jersey on today. No Dodgers. Garrett Mitchell, another Southern California guy. Look at that. Orange California. Yeah. 20th he's, overall, first rounder. He's legit. He's a legit guy for them. Him and, uh, him and Tyler Black, Sal Freelich. There's nice. some good guys coming up for the Brewers. Hell, maybe. Mark Bazette, Brew Crew. Maybe and there's our second to last autograph. There's Michael Triana, 380. Yeah, 381 out of 499 refractor autograph for Mark and the Red Legs. Another one for the Reds. I like this this photo right here. Look at Martin Jimenez, just all active on the base pass. Hands are up. He know he's ready to he's ready to go. Next team to the West. The Giants are not for real. You don't think the Giants are for real? I think they are due for regression. I think the Padres are going to finish second in that division. Mm. I don't know, man. I think besides Rodon, I know Dawson's been pretty good for them, too, actually. But offensively, I, just, I don't believe it. I, I don't believe in them offensively. They're 14 and 10. I don't want to talk about the Rockies. We, we know how the Rockies do. They start 
every season off. Well, Rockies are 15 and 10, but their run differential is minus nine. That's telling. Yeah, they they start incredibly hot and win clutch games, and then they are horrible from May to to August. Then October rolls around. It's like uh, it's like uh. It's like call it, the Rockies are like Peloton. You look at them and like on the surface, you're like, this is great company awesome. to invest in. But you look at the underlying factors in Peloton and then you're like, oh, right. It's just, it's a little suspect. But yeah, I, I think the Giants offensively, I mean, they, they can win, they've won so much on pitching throughout their entire, you know, the last 15 years. But I don't know how much they can keep doing, how much magic is left in the tank. It isn't even year though. And that's that's always scary. It's always good for the Giants, even years. A little Mount Castle, a Mounty Dinger, third home run of the season. Nice, Castle Ryan Mount Castle. Deep. There you go. All right. Hey, thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. No I'm going to go back to sorting. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, listen, folks. Chris is going to be here for a little bit. So if you want to get some more Bowman done, I, I, I wouldn't mind doing, getting some more Bowman done. Yeah. Especially if we have a little help. This makes the break. We probably save half an hour on this break, ladies and gentlemen. So. Yeah. At least I can do. So thank you very much, Chris. We'll s hopefully see you later. Yeah. Remember this card behind yeah. you again. Yes. yes. Feel free to grab it. And here's the second half of the last box of the break. We should see our final autograph in here. Good luck, everybody. Trash can behind you now. Appreciate it. See some lime paper coming up, lime green paper. I, think I spotted that. Yeah, here it comes. It's going to be Cabrian Hayes. Nice. 216 out of 399. Pirates. Pirate paper. And there's our honor of some gold. 33 out of 50. Joshua Baez. St. Louis Cardinals. That's going to be for Greg. Oh, Chris just left, but we'll get his thoughts when he comes back. Chris! There's Edgar Cuero to 125. Aqua Speckle for the Halos. That's going to be for Mark. Um, we can save that question for the next. Chris. Yes. Uh, Diego's wondering, and we, we Diego and I have discussed this before in the chat. Uh, expansion teams. Where do you think the next ones should or or will be? Memphis and Montreal. I'm a I'm a big believer in the Tennessee baseball Interesting. team. And and then. Uh, whatever ownership group buys a team from Montreal, they will actually negotiate. I think they're going to negotiate with the Washington Nationals to get that history back. I think they right. discussed that. I don't know how true that is. Yeah, because they do want to get to 32 teams at some point. Yeah. I think Memphis is a shirt sure out. I don't think that if the A's are moving, I don't think they're going to Vegas. You don't think so? No. I think they. I think be. Vegas and Montreal. But then, but then North, then Charlotte and Memphis is is, is close yeah. is close by for me. There you go, gang. Twelve box. Pick your team three in the books. Six left in gold. Nice. Quick little uh, recap here. A little autograph recap. Plus the five, the two out of five. Kevin Alcantara, red lava. There you go, gang. More Bowman baseball in the store. Uh, the next two breaks are locked away into those fillers. So check out, look out for those fillers on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.